Hello everyone, I'm Scott Olford, and this is the Dr. Snow Brain Health Podcast. This is our first recording. CTE is like a spreading disease. Like it starts in one area of the brain, let's say, and then you stop getting blows to the head, but then you can get it later. Why some people get it later and some people don't, nobody knows. But Foods that are high in polyphenols are fruits. What type of fruits am I talking about? Elderberries, blueberries, chalkberries, black currant, which is very interesting. I not only understood the science behind Alzheimer's, understanding, you know, plaques, tangles, inflammation, but I also had to deal with it as a caregiver, and it's very difficult. There's so much guilt involved. You always feel like it's your fault. Now I'm going to tell you how to improve your brain health by 30 to 50% with nine lifestyle changes that go according to the acronym SNOW BRAIN, S-N-O-W-B-R-A-I-N. Percepta outperformed all 20 top selling memory supplements by over 50% in targeting brain plaques and tangles. So older dogs and even cats can get memory loss and they have behaviors like going into a corner and staring into space. These capsules, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. If you actually dissolve the contents of the capsule, again, which contains all three ingredients, cat's claw, memory tea, and black currants, We're going to dive into the laws of attraction and this is something I've been using for the last 20 years of my life to bring everything I want into my life. Money, cars, houses, relationships, love. a maze of memory supplements and what we're going to talk about today we're going to decipher the maze of memory supplements that's what we're going to be talking about today you know when i was 18 years old i was in amazing shape and i actually wanted to be a professional tennis player and i was actually on the canadian national tennis team so what do you see in the brain of these people who are diagnosed with CTE? It's basically, remember these twisting paired helical filaments that we talked about that are in the Alzheimer's brain? They're also in the CTE brain. So it's a progressive movement disorder that occurs when the dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra are lost. sudden in his hearing, Brett Favre said he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease at the age of 54. By Dr. Snow, and we're going to be talking about the top 10 foods for your brain health. So Dr. Yeah. Snow, let's start with uh, number 10. Number 10, blueberries. The brain, we talk about Alzheimer's, we talk about Parkinson's, we talk about CTE, and it's really hard to distinguish between the different effects of what each of these does to the brain. Heparin sulfate proteoglycans were found to play a role in plaques, tangles, and inflammation. And you remember we talked about this as the trilogy of memory loss. God, in 1989, I published a paper with Dr. Thomas White he was my mentor and a world-renowned proteoglycan expert. 
1997, Miller, who was a postdoctoral fellow in my lab at University of Washington, Department of Pathology, demonstrated that heparin sulfate proteoglycans can be produced by microglia. It sounds like a space alien is about to land on Earth. It's very calming and peaceful to your brain.